Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European market midday update, Monday the 11th of uh, April 2016. Be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and uh, certainly uh, take advantage of the potential 25% bonus offer. Uh, also visit www.cfds.education, certainly more to learn more. And don't forget to uh, download the uh, new uh, app uh, via tradesignaler.com. Okay, European markets. Interesting morning this morning. We've had a U-turn. That's probably the best way of explaining it. And uh, the markets certainly are uh, very, very handsomely um, poised at present. Okay, so uh, Asian markets mixed. We had the Nikkei down, obviously, concerns with regards to BOJ, um, obviously firing a water pistol or a failure of their QE program. And that certainly triggered off a risk aversion trade early morning. Okay, so if you look at USDJPY, uh, looking at a 10-minute chart, we dipped, dipped as low as 107.7. And as you all know, on the weekly chart, we have the HS target being the 106 level. Now, the 106 obviously corresponds with that 200 MA, and you do have previous resistance equals support. At this juncture where we are now, there's nothing really in terms of support other than obviously fundamentals dictating rather than technicals. The daily chart as well, nothing that I can find obviously all the way until we get down to 106. So, any support at present is temporary and won't last from my perspective, especially technicals confirming that too. Now, we have had, though, having said that, we have had comments uh, with regards to... Um, with regards to... comments by Mr. Corolla, okay? Uh, Mr. Corolla, if I just backtrack here quickly. Um, Saudi Arabia seeking to boost oil supplies, China seeking joint investment in China, according to... Saudi Arabia. Okay, I get all that. Okay. So, BOJ say negative rates will apply to around JPY, blah, 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 blah. IT industrial production down. That's not exactly good news. Okay, let's have a look here. If I can find that. Uh, B ah, here we go. So BOJ Crowder will ease until inflation is stable. No, well, that's how many times have we heard that? Okay, we'll add stimulus without hesitation if needed. I think that that really was the key. And also with regards to comments overnight about intervention. Uh, that um, Liu FX intervention for competitive and oh, is on exp Oh, well, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is the headline of the day. Okay, so we had, uh, I think Mr. Sugar, was it? I can't remember now. One of the chaps basically out of Japan stated that uh, uh, that uh, uh, intervention was a, a possibility after obviously uh, the G20, etc., stating that nobody was going to do have competitive devaluation, etc., etc., and therefore raise the prospects of intervention. Now we've had the uh, China, the uh, U.S. response to Japan, obviously, uh, Secretary Liu. Uh, FX intervention for competitive advantage is unacceptable. So obviously they're warning the Japanese. And if they're warning the Japanese, it's all about the yen, folks. As you all know, yen, dollar, and uh, obviously CHF certainly are, or Swiss issue are, the key, uh, key FX uh, investments or FX money flow that, that uh, indicates risk aversion, okay? Whenever money flows towards those three currencies, there certainly is concerns in the market, whether it's apparent or obviously invisible. Okay, so that obviously indicates risk aversion. Uh, now, this is actually a trading opportunity. So let me allow me to just pause this uh, video and short this market. One second. Okay, that's been shorted successfully. So I've shorted the Euro stocks at 2940 now with subscribers on the live analysis service. Those of you that are not familiar with the live analysis service, basically it's a service that I run where I share my trades in real time. So this is where the live analysis service is. You can visit on my website, inter-market-analysis.com. And this is where I trade in real time and I share my trades. I uh, share my entries, exits, targets, commentary, analysis, basically the uh, the full insight from A to Z, okay, of, of my day trades, uh, my trading day. Uh, basically I teach, it's all concept of teaching basically. If I can share my trade ideas, my trade selves, in real time via the uh, WhatsApp group, okay. So um, I share my charts in real time. I give commentary. I give the fundamental arguments as to why the uh, the in a particular variable will be going up or down. Now, for example, this morning, I mean, I shorted the FTSE, shorted the Euro stocks, and shorted the Aussie. So I've made plus sixty eight points in the morning, and now obviously I've taken the short Euro stocks at two nine forty as well. And that's in the back of obviously Mr. Lou's comments of anti. Uh, uh, but basically, uh, con uh, contrary, 
uh, to the previous comments by one of the uh, Japanese officials of a potential of uh, intervention and obviously the Chinese are, are responding and state, stating that FX intervention for competitive advantage is totally totally unacceptable so that certainly pours cold water over the uh, the short squeeze idea or short squeeze day this morning that um, basically uh, the uh, the actual uh, intervention on the USDJPY trade if I bring that up for you again this uh, move here will trigger the equity markets moving higher as well okay so that certainly is uh, the trade idea and uh, technically it's set up for a short as well which i'll certainly certainly uh, s shortly explain as well okay in terms of economic data let's just go over the data from a european market perspective we had inflation data out in china overnight slightly weaker than expected so again leaves the door open for potential stimulus and qe etc hence the reason why we've seen this short squeeze this morning initially obviously the markets took it negative because of the japanese machine orders that came in weaker than expected okay so again a risk off move there obviously oil my oil itself certainly is into resistance as well if i bring up the chart of oil you can see in the four hour chart we're into resistance daily chart you can clearly see that we're holding that fib 61 percent resistance which is previous support equals resistance exactly that zone okay so oil into resistance now we also have a comment from one of the chinese officials uh, Chinese China's Premier Li says downward pressure on economy continues. Obviously, that's not going to be uh, interpreted as being positive. It's certainly negative, and that will certainly weigh on the markets as well. Okay, so bear that in mind. Okay, so that's another reason why I'm sure. But I'll look at it from a technical perspective later. Okay, so this, that's exactly what I do in the live analysis service. I, I trade, and I explain my trade ideas in real time so that people can learn and uh, observe and learn that's basically the whole idea okay right let's get back to uh, analyzing so uh, in terms of uh, oil prices certainly into resistance and therefore as we all know the yen and oil are the two sensitive variables in this market oil higher yen lower we have a rally in equities okay uh, oil lower yen higher we have a set off in equities hence the reason why i was short this morning okay right in terms of uh, other economic data let's have a Okay, Italian industrial production actually comes out weaker than expected, so that's certainly not good news. Again, that's a risk aversion trade, so risk off. We've got Feds Dudley speaking later. Obviously, Mr. Secretary Liu is certainly speaking now, has talked against the USDJ, or should we say yen being um, uh, butchered. Obviously, if there's intervention, then 108 handle certainly needs to hold. And again, that adds to my theory or my understanding that uh, the next real support for the uh, the yen really is um, the USDJPY, should I say is going to be at that 106 handle so watch out for 106 until we get to 106 uh, i wouldn't really believe in that competitive or should we say any intervention theory that will trigger a short squeeze and that's exactly what's happened this morning in europe a false short squeeze has been triggered okay now let's go to technicals okay folks let's go to the daily chart on the euro stocks obviously we're still in that lower lows lower highs and that's mainly based on the fact that the euro usd is the biggest concern as you can see here we're certainly pushing higher quite substantially here now the euro usd certainly is pushing higher uh, and this is obviously a risk aversion trade this is not good news at all the euro usd moving higher certainly triggers off risk aversion and uh, certainly will cause the european equities to fall okay so bear that in mind european equities are expected to fall on the back of uh, mr Liu's comments uh, against uh, potential uh, devaluation of the yen and obviously uh, the euro moving higher on the back of uh, we've had the comments on mr shawbel let me just bring this up for you as well if I just call Germany's on the warpath as Shoba looks to lock horns with Draghi over monetary policy. So now they this week is a big one for get togethers. We have P B O C B O E except IMF are hosting a spring meeting, blah blah. Shoba has never been happy with the ECB policy, but most of his comments have been fairly guarded in German terms over the years. Now he's starting to ramp up the rhetoric. Over the weekend it seems that Shoba's unhappiness over the current state of monetary policy is reaching new levels. A prize-winning ceremony on Friday, Shaw will pick out Draghi for the reason behind some political upheaval in Germany due to the rise of the anti-immigration par uh, uh, party. I said to Mario Draghi, be very proud. You can attribute 50% of the results of a party that seems to be new and successful in Germany to the design of this policy. So basically, he's anti-QE. Anti-QE means higher euro. Higher euro means uh, exports lower in Europe. And obviously, exports lower in Europe means lower growth, lower jobs. And you know exactly where this is going, okay? Uh, you're looking at the equity markets moving lower and that's exactly what we're observing okay so euro spiking here now and uh, european equities are going to head south hence the reason why i paused this video and i went short on the euro stocks okay right let's go back to the charts now i'm going to finish this up okay daily charts certainly a, a feeble uh, dead cat bounce real neck support is going to be at 2800 again with qe in the background it is obviously very hard to be overtly bearish but nevertheless 
We're looking for a potential pullback here now on the euro stocks back to this 2922 2910 zone. Certainly have uh, triggered inverted head and shoulders, so one needs to remain uh, open minded to that. So if I just show you here, folks, on the uh, 60 minute chart, you have your left shoulder here. Okay, you've got your head obviously pinpointed here. The left shoulder obviously has gone in. You're looking at a potential shoulder retest now, folks. So any retracement back here now to the 2920 zone, looking at that uh, and uh, looking at a potential target. But for now, like I said, uh, Showball comments, anti QE comments, Euro going higher, uh, Secretary Liu comments, Chinese Premier comments, etc., all indicating lower on European equities at this juncture. So we do need to close the gap at uh, 2960, so that will be the next potential move higher. For now, you've broken out the downward sloping and contracting wedge pattern. Your pivot low is 2860 down to the neckline, uh, 2920. Let's just calculate this for you. So IHS equals 2920 minus 2860. And that will give you a 60 point rally. So you're looking at 2980. OK, so that's your potential target on the upside for the IHS. Now, you're, consequently, your inverted head and shoulder, or should we say 10 minute, the gap fill on the 60 minute chart is at 2960 odd. OK, so watch out for that. And then obviously you've got the gap fill at 3004. So watch out for that as well. OK, right. 10 minute chart of the euro stocks let's just bring this up for you now as you can see here we've certainly hit a double top looking for potential retracement one of the reasons why i'm actually short okay so a uh, sell-off here now will potentially face some support at 2920 if that cracks then you are looking at the next level of support being the 200 ma so that's basically what we're looking at take the pivot low from here connect it to here Okay, so your next reel, I mean, you've got 2900 as well. That's a key area, a key zone. Um, you do have previous resistance, previous support equals resistance here at 2900. So that's an area that I'll watch out for. So potential 2920 down to 2905 on the euro stocks in terms of the uh, weakness. That's what we're looking for here. Okay, right. Okay, interesting. Right, that's your euro stock wrapped up. Okay, German DAX. Let's look at this uh, behemoth. Okay, so uh, the daily chart certainly pushing higher here. Look, you're looking at two potential gap levels above, but with the comments from Mr. Schauble and the euro potentially spiking, doesn't exactly bode well. 60 minute chart of the euro stock, or should we say DAX? So you're into previous support equals resistance. So this is a zone that is going to be uh, expect some turbulence. Don't be surprised. Okay. Uh, and this is uh, these are levels of resistance that we can obviously observe here. Looking for a potential retest going back down here to eight uh, eight six seven five. And again, there's nothing stopping this. It could certainly push quite low. But you have held that gap fill, which is very interesting. Okay, so again, potential areas of gaps above or zones that you need to potentially close above. Ten minute chart at the moment really in no man's land. Uh, only thing that we can really do is connect the pivot highs together, and that's all we can do for now. On the German DAX, obviously take the pivot low, connect it across here, looking for a potential break. So break out of this channel, looking to potentially retest that 9560 support zone. That's a zone that I will be looking at with uh, immense interest. This zone here, 9560, 9580, 9680, 9670. If that cracks, then obviously we go even lower. Okay, um, other than that, in terms of support and resistance, you do have an important zone here. So again, if you go down to the 9620 zone, that will be an area to potentially cover your shorts. Uh, from my perspective, we certainly clear, uh, close the gap. Can you see how we close the gap? And then obviously starting to rally quite Im impressively. That's one of the reasons why I closed my shorts this morning. Okay, so either way, looking impressive uh, in terms of the German DAX, certainly pushing higher. But for now, you are looking at a potential retracement. Okay, interesting. Okay, that's the German DAX. Let's have a look at the uh, actual French CAC now. CAC is very impressive. Okay, so holding support on daily chart at gap fill level, 60 minute chart, French CAC certainly held uh, gap fill support, certainly building a potential base, but it remains weak compared to the rest from my perspective. As you can see, at least the euro stocks are the inverted head and shoulders. This has nothing. So we obviously as we close that gap around that four four three four five zone etc looking to potentially reverse very very quickly so certainly you're holding holding resistance looking to test the lows again looking at the FTSE 100 now just to wrap things up uh, FTSE 100 uh, still holding that 6220 level as solid solid resistance when it hit a pivot high of 6230 this morning very impressive broken out the diagonal trend line as well holding the horizontal resistance and now looking to uh, potentially reverse it taking the pivot lows together 
and you certainly are in that zone okay looking at the 10 minute chart on the FTSE 100 certainly looking at exhaustion folks okay so uh, the HNS certainly failed as you can see uh, certainly failed to gain traction certainly reversed quite powerfully as well you do have an unfilled gap on the FTSE below and that certainly is a concern for me if you are a bull okay you certainly don't want to see things like that so you are looking for uh, that gap to close and then you could certainly become bullied but for now that gap will act as an attraction and given the fact that oil obviously is holding that resistance zone you are looking for a quite a sharp reverse in the FTSE down to the 6190 zone if that cracks then you are opening up the 6160 6160 certainly seems reasonable as a potential target area in a target zone in the FTSE so that's certainly a zone that I'd look to look to target for the uh, next 24 hours Again, be mindful with the gap at 6130. If oil starts to slide quite viciously here, given the fact that we have got uh, comments with regards to increased oil production in uh, in Iraq, for example, then that certainly will not uh, help. Okay, right. Okay, that's fine. Okay, folks, I think that's a wrap. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and uh, watch out for that Japanese intervention. Goodbye now.